Cannibal Corpse are one of those bands that means a lot to me. They've been uh, carrying the flag of death metal for the longest time and uh, I have a soft spot for them. And it doesn't hurt that the guys in the band are absolute sweethearts as well. Met them a couple of times and they've always been as friendly as can be. And uh, I was also lucky enough to be in Six Feet Under for a brief moment together with Legendary and also absolute sweetheart Chris Barnes. So it goes without saying Cannibal Corpse has definitely made a mark in me and they are definitely the kings of their genre. Even though I love their sound on their albums, their live sound is to die for. It's super thick and just so so badass sounding like really really manly. I mean you hear it and it's hard not to make a grin on your face like that or, or you know what I'm talking about. So what are they using? EMG pickups and Nessa Boogie rectifiers boosted with a metal zone. That has been the part of their main ingredients for a long long while. But for this video I'm looking at trying out the exact gear they are using today because their formula has changed the past years. All this info and settings I received from Rob Barrett himself, so these are as accurate as can be. But with that said, and as I always say, I do not have their finger tone and playing style, so it will still differ a bit and not be exactly like how they would sound. But, you know, you'll just have to live with that. Leeches. Just can't have everything in life. God damn it. Pisses me off. I posted a cover of the song Hammer Smash Face not too long ago. If you haven't seen it already, go click up here and uh, to get to that video. In this video I was using this V1.6 Solar artist that has Fishman Fluence modern pickups in them. And both Rob and Pat changed to Fishman Fluence a couple years back. This guitar goes straight into a Maxon ST9 Pro Plus. And that goes into a Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. In between there's also a Fortin Soul pedal, that's, uh, that's a noise gate by the way. And this guitar is tuned to E flat and uh, later I'm also hooking up my 7th string with that same tuning but then it also has a low A sharp. And this is hooked up to my Hesu 2x12 and the microphone is a M160 miking up a T75 Celestian speaker. So yeah, let's go. That is thick. That's a mother. That sounds like a grown man's pair of balls in a really, really, really good way. <laughs> Okay, so let's hear the sound without the overdrive engaged. 
Sounds like this. Obviously, gain has to be at max. That's the way they use it, at least. And then we put it on. That sounds great. Let's switch over to the seventh string. So this guitar does not have the Fishman Fluence pickups in it, but you know, <sighs> that shit. I just want to play a little seventh string, okay? Listen to that f***ing sound. Awesome, I must say. I can do that all day. I mean, the palm mutes are just out of this world, I must say. I actually never really used an overdrive this hard into a dual rectifier. You know, I usually use the overdrive as a clean boost, but here you're basically adding more distortion as well. And it's really, really, really gnarly sounding. However, I know you guys are f annoying. So you're saying like, yeah, but you know, they used EMGs and metal zones for a long f while. And I'm like, Chill the f*** out. Okay, I'm gonna bring my my EMG guitar right here. Here you go. Melson, okay? Shit. I'm really trying my best here. To please you assholes. Uh, do not leave, by the way. Okay, there we go. Here it is. EMG 81 into a Melson and then into the f*** dual rectifier. Okay, you happy?
<laughs> okay. That's it. Sounds pretty f good. So there you have it. Did you think it sounded like Cannibal Corpse? Let me know in the comment section. Also, if you have any ideas of what artist tone I should do next, post down there in the comment section as well. A big thank you to Rob Barrett for helping out with the settings. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, all that uh, regular bullshit that I usually say at the end of the video. You know? See ya!